Yeah. G'day folks, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid in Central Vic. In the shop where I work at Miner's Den, we've had a few discussions about gold machines down on the beach. Will they work? Won't they work? So, there's sort of only, there's, there's a couple of things that we really need. We need gold detectors, and we need a beach. Well, fortunately today, down here, we've brought along the SDC 2300, which is in fact the only waterproof gold machine. Uh, it's waterproof to three meters. It has three salt modes. So being at the beach, being salty, this should be a good go. We've also brought down the GPX 6000. And one of the, the discussions that we've had is, will the mono be too loud, the 11 inch mono? Will it be best to run the 14 inch double D? Well, we've got all that here. What was the last ingredient we needed? A beach. And if we have a look over there, there's our beach. So we're gonna play around there and see how we go. But first off, I'm going to do a couple of little experiments down here first so that we can find out which gold machine will we actually take for our outing. So let's have a look at how they go. Alrighty, so let's, let's fire up first off with the SDC. We'll just get that all packed out and ready to go. Now, on this side of the SDC, we've got our sensitivity modes. The green one there is what we call the factory preset, if you like. These are all the normal settings that we would use in the gold fields. But we do have the salt modes. Now they're for over in Western Australia, but they're also down for the beach. What, young Nathan, he reckons SALT 3 is going to be the go because it should power on mightily. So we'll switch this on, let it do its noise cancel, and then we'll see how we, how we end up. I'm just doing our noise cancel, which does take a minute. Rightio. We are set to go. All we need to do now is just our noise, our ground balance. Well, that'll be something. All I want to do with this, it's running fairly stable in the dry ground. But what I'm going to do is head down towards the water's edge where it's more salty and see how that, how it behaves down there. So realistically, right down in the wet sand, if you ran over a signal, of which, there's one there, you're gonna find that. So we're gonna be fine for doing that. I don't think it's too bad. It's not a bad option to use. We might have a go at the 6000 and see how that pans out as well. I'm gonna fire up the uh, 6000 now. So hopefully we're not too close to too much EMI. And we'll see how we go. We're starting off on the dry first. I'm gonna give it a couple of fire throughs with, um, with the noise cancel, which is usually what I do. Just sort of brings in the channels that it wants to play with. Makes it a bit quieter, so. Just ground balancing it now. 
Now, what we are on, I'm still on usual gold fields settings. So I'm manual sensitivity one. Uh, I'm switch that off. And I'm in difficult. What the thought is, is that I should probably whack it up to sensitivity of 10 and drop it into normal so we can really penetrate. So I'm going to do that now. Now in normal. And we've just gone up to manual 10. We can hear she's a bit noisier now. That was the coil. What I'm gonna do is the same as before. I'm gonna walk down towards the water edge and see if it gets louder again. By gee, she certainly is loud. At this point, what I would even do is drop it back to difficult. But nah. Every swing. And the closer I get to the water, though I will mark that signal, the closer we get to the, the water, the louder it's getting, I would now even start to drop my sensitivity back. Uh, unless you ran over an absolute screamer. I'll get right down near the edge now. Let's, let's cut to the chase. That, that would be hard to listen to all day. Now, the other thing too, is that the GPX 6000 is not a waterproof machine. Yes, the, the coils can take a little bit of water, I believe to about a meter, but I personally don't like putting them in the water. Um, at this point, I'm gonna say that the 11 inch coil is a no-go. So let's see what the 14 inch will do now. All right, we've got the 14 inch double D anti-interference coil on. I'm gonna fire up. There's a couple of things we're gonna to have to change on this one. We're doing noise cancel, so we'll do that again. I'm gonna hit that a few times. And another one for good luck. Now then, I'll do a small ground balance, which has quietened it down, that's okay. But if we see here, there's a little lightning bolt. So this is to get rid of the EMI, but we want to change that to salt. So we press and hold the noise cancel button for about seven seconds. There we go. Now it's gone to these little dotty things which is just to show you salt in the ground. So now this coil, we can hear how much, <laughs> almost how much quieter. There we go. Now, again, let's change it into normal and let's go up to manual sensitivity of 10 and see how we go walking down towards the water. I'm happy enough to say that it's quieter than the um, than what the 11 inch coil was. We haven't got that woo woo from each side. 
We've, so I haven't changed from, by this time, at about here, I had already dropped out of normal into difficult, and I had already dropped my sensitivity back. So actually, I'm still in normal, and I'm still manual 10. If it's a little bit chatty, what I might do, let's drop it back to about five. That's not bad. And we are heading down towards the, the salty area now. So I'm not really chasing targets. I just want to hear how quiet it is. Now by this stage with the 11 inch coil, the mono, we weren't having fun. If this is the way you wanted to hunt and you had a uh, 6,000, you want to play on the beach, this isn't a bad way. I'd be happy enough with that. So let's get the old dollar coin out, which is gonna scream. There we go. Yeah, we haven't even got over that yet. Beautiful. So, you know, if we had something in the ground and at depth, this would be quite a good go. So, probably for quietness, the SDC's going to be the better job. Bruce over in Adelaide, he reckons that it would be really good on the fine jewellery. But for a 6,000, put on your 14-inch coil, it comes with the machine, it's a lot quieter. We can handle it. So the poor old 11-inch mono that you'd use in the gold fields and that doesn't really like the beach. So we've at least gone, I wouldn't use an 11. I would definitely use this. As we said, I'm at five sensitivity now. I'm in normal. Probably a good thing. Be interesting to see how it goes out on the beach. Anyway, I'll make a call as to which detector I'm going to use and we'll see what we find. Okay, now, here, you remember when we were playing with the 11 inch coil, I did get a signal, I said we'd come back to it. Well, it's here, where that is. So, I've gone and got my digger. We are now That sounds all right, that's a signal. What I'll do, ye old trusty pinpointer. So that's good, can't pick it up with that, which is really nice because this will punch deeper than the SDC. So now, we'll dig down. And see how we go. So this soil's all moist. There we go. Up oh, we are out. Okay. Are we going to call sinker? Ah, I shifted it. Ha! Oh, look, that's... There we go. It's just like being back up in the gold fields, isn't it? There's a little sinker, just a, just a little one, much the same size as what we get up there for, for uh, lead shot. Speaking of which, get a gadzi for buckshot. But that, you know, that's potentially six inches down for a target like that. Not exactly what we want, but it worked all right. Certainly said, yep, here it is, dig me. Let's hope we can find something. Ooh, maybe golden round. Okay, first 
first signal, we're right beside a nice swimming hole. People will put their belongings up along the edge of the sand dunes. And I got that. Now I've already moved it with my boot. So, seems to be some more there as well. Anyway, I'm not holding too much hope. She's small. Oh, there you go. In my hand. Oh, probably something good to get out of the out of the sand. There we go. Fishing gear, and there's a hook. That'll go nicely in someone's foot. All right, we'll do our bit. Well, I've got another signal down here, and amongst all the barkers' nests and everything. If you had that in the gold fields, it'd be quite nice. Still down in there. I've shifted it. So that's not a bad thing. Okay. I'll just come in with the pin pointer. Ah, there we go. These fishermen dropping all their hooks. And they're all brand new hooks too. I reckon they might go into our tackle box. Well, I've got a signal down here and I can tell you right now, we've struck gold. Just the wrong type, that's all. Well, there's a makeshift field right here. Here's the grandstand, and we got ourselves a signal. I would half reckon it's going to be a bottle top, but I'd be quite happy to be proven wrong if it was a gold ring. By the sounds, we've shifted it. Shift that over there. Oh. <laughs> well, we've already found gold, folks. We've been fishing for tackle, and now I've got me silver. We're riding a winner today. Uh, not bad going. That's all right. Now, yeah, five cents, our little echidna friend, but that was, I don't know, good eight, ten inches down. That's not too bad. So yeah, we'll take that, we'll keep going. Well, we've got ourselves another signal. But we are backing towards the tackle zone, heading back. So whether this is a sinker, another hook, It, it is out. So. Yep, look at this. There we go, I've got fishing line. And there's our sinker. So, another piece of lead. If I'm not cleaning up lead out of the buddy gold fields, I'm doing it down on the beach. But anyway, Lee Climber, there's one for you. a change of beach and a change of detector. So last time we were using the GPX 6000 with the 14 inch anti-interference double D coil in salt mode. 
Now we're going to give the SDC 2300 a run on the beach and I've already found a target. So, we have a listen to this one. So we've got something just down there. Don't know how deep it is. Don't even know what it is. But still in the ground. Now, this is all good. Ugh. All right, we've got it out. Sounds like it's just here. Let's fire up the pinpointer. I've got it in my fingers. And it is. And it is. Something that's had iron in it. Oh! Oh! Is that gold? Just... Something that's heavily corroded might just be copper, but that's actually not steel in there. We'll have to clean that up when we get back and find out what it is. But yeah, look at that. On we go. Alrighty. Well, you can see here that they've been pushing all the seaweed up, and that will be some of the signals as well, and... Got a thumper there. Are we looking at a can? Right, we're still in the ground. Ugh. Let me go. Right. What I might do, shift that right out the way. Yep. Hey. Have we got a signal or what, hey? Alrighty. Oh. We had gold before. Now we've got definite silver. Boy, geez, they ring up. No, no questions for you, just silver. Well, I've got me another signal. It's going off. Is it another? bottle top will it be a gold no <laughs> will it be a gold ring no it won't be a gold ring i reckon an aluminium tent peg will be what it is they uh they certainly scream out at you let's see if we can find something a bit better you're joking me hairpin of all the things. There you go, another one off the beach. Supposedly it's in my hand. Is it that? Bloody hell. Now, that, whatever that is, it's not heavy enough for lead, but it's obviously something. But certainly wanted to make a signal about it. Anyway, let's see if we can find something else. Well, you were right. Biff said to me, one of these signals has to be a ring. Well, she was right, technically, but it's a washer. Ring thing nonetheless, but there we are. Whoa, you don't get much better gold than that with the beach. Look at that, it's nearly a nugget. Not quite the one we're after. Well, there we go, folks. The trial as to whether you can use a gold machine on the beach, and the answer is yes. The SDC, that worked really well because of its salt modes. I had no issues with that at all. Uh, the GPX 6 with the 14 inch double D coil was the way to go. We could play in normal. I had five sensitivity. Look, I found stuff with both of them. Uh, I did get money with the 6,000. I didn't get, oh, we got that gold nugget of, of foil with the uh, SDC. But look, we had a good time. So if you're traveling around Australia 
and you have a gold machine and you come near the beach, don't be afraid to use it. Just with the 6,000s, don't get them in the water. So there we have it. We've worked on the theories and we've proven what we can and can't do. So, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. I'll catch you next time.